people keep having this debate about gun control and gun regulations, but does it really make sense when we have 3D printers that could soon print any type of weapon we want? That sounds crazy to me. I, it sounds look, crazy. Look, I've heard this story, but yeah. I can't believe it. I don't... Uh, so since you can't believe it, um, I, have, I did find a video on YouTube that shows you how a 3D printer works. And basically what it does is it, it creates layers of any object you want. You basically scan the object you want and the computer finds a way to use either polymer or uh, plastic to make that item. Now, let me just be 100% clear about something. This technology is still in its infancy, especially when it comes to making guns. Now with that said, let's take a look at how it works. Let's see it. Here we go. The scanner inputs every facet of the wrench into this computer, creating an image that will be sent to the printer. <laughs> oh, that is cool. How accurately can you measure the shape? The accuracy is within 40 microns. That's like a human hair width. Uh, actually, a little less. That's incredible. All right, so the wrench was scanned. Here's the wrench that you did. OK, can you make that ring red? Sure. I want to select it and paint so now that piece is red. I see. Just that simple. When we're ready, we just go down and hit print. All right, David, printing's done. Okay. Let's take a look at your wrench. I'm ready. OK. Uh, I don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's in there. Just reach into the powder and pull out your wrench. OK. Holy cow. Wow. Yeah, there's a real wrench right oh there. Oh my god, you printed this. That's insane. Isn't that so crazy? OK, well, uh, phasers are next. <laughs> OK, make sure you set them to stun. Uh, th this is uh, how they do the Star Trek thing. Uh, computer, give me ham sandwich. <laughs> give me wrench with the red thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> OK. So now obviously they can't give you a ham sandwich that's different, right? Mm -hmm. But that's trippy. That's, I know, it is definitely trippy. And as I mentioned before we looked at the video, uh, when it comes to gun technology, it's still in its infancy. Um, but it does bring up a lot of questions about whether or not all this gun regulation makes sense. Now, some people might argue, well, these printers, I'm sure, cost so much money that you know they're not going to make a difference in right. this gun debate. Except some of them are as cheap as $1,200. And by the way, this is new technology. So of course, the prices are going to be high in the beginning. But you know, as more and more of them get made, it's going to become cheaper and cheaper. I just like television. Look, I don't understand how it works because how can you. Wrench is easier because there isn't much st stuff on the inside. In a gun, there's a lot of springs, et cetera, on the inside. I mean, can I tell the computer, computer, make me an Xbox? Okay, so I buy the printer for $1,200, then I make an Xbox, a PlayStation, a TV, and another printer like it. I, Think I, about it. I know. I, I just took your two levels deep. Not really, though. Um, look, I, I get what you're saying about the moving parts and, and how uh, you know the mechanics of a gun I is very uh, complicated, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I have no question in my mind that they're going to figure it out. In fact, they're already working on that, and they're using like. Um, very sturdy materials to make these weapons. Mm -hmm. So I, I have no doubt that they're going to finally find a way to do it. But another thing is, like, how do you explain to people how the internet works? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like back in the day, it's like a series of two. You know, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like back in the day, before the internet was created, if you tried to explain to someone what the internet will be, they'd be like, "No, it's trippy, man. That's uh, not gonna no, happen." No, that's crazy. You know, yeah. By the way, you know what they actually did? They're like, "All right, cut." In the middle of that video, they took the other wrench, painted it red, and put it into the powder. <laughs> All right, uh, it's nerd alert time. Kim Horcher is going to inform us uh, what the reality of this is. Actually, yes. Jank. Uh, side note: You can make a sandwich with a 3D printer. Printer. No. Yes, there's a printer that um, works with living cells, you, like lab-created meat, uh -huh. and um, you can make a delicious. hamburger for about thirty thousand dollars. So it's not there yet. Okay. No, but no, but you know, with science, I always think in technology, I always think if okay, the initial price is irrelevant because mm -hmm. we've seen it in our lifetimes all the time. TiVo, it's a million dollars. Okay, fine, it's ten dollars. Okay, well, it's just a matter of time, right? So if you can do it, they'll do it for cheaper. That's it. It's over. It's Star Trek. It's a computer. Well, how the gun works is it's it's printed in pieces, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and you put it together later. Oh, yeah. that interesting. And it's um the programs you use for it, they're all open source. They're allegedly still available. Uh, they're working. You know, as Anna says, there's implications of well, how are we going to control this? 
what should we do? Yeah, how about the Xbox? Can I just take it out in pieces and um, recreate it? I mean, it sounds like a pain in the ass. I wonder, I one, wonder what kind of copyright issues are going to come up as a result of this. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, there'll be copyright issues. And meanwhile, every, like a billion people in China will have that printer. They'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get back to you on the copyright here. Uh, computer, make me Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> No, because I don't think you can really 3D print a graphics card or anything like that just yet. Because it's because um, the problem is the software it's inside. It's plastic resin, and that's not really how they're made. Mm -hmm. It's more intricate. So it's only things that are plastic resin for now. Well, and meat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want a screwdriver inside your ham sandwich? We got you covered. But things that are a little more complicated, we're gonna need some time on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Thank you, Kim.